kit. Yeah. So her conversions are great. Her off stage is great. She's mm -hmm. honestly got a lot of really good pressure, especially if you don't know the matchup. But yeah. this will come down to how well Zelda can manage neutral and how suffocating Mega Man can be. Absolutely. And we're going to see a lot of neutral beats from Zelda, uh, the Reflector. Uh, great get off me option. Mm -hmm. She has great tools to uh, kind of get out of combos that aren't true um, yes. with uh, her flash kick and um, her neutral beat. Those can get you off of her. But I mean, if you can be overwhelming, if you can kind of like pressure her, uh, press the right buttons. Um, Zelda kind of looks like uh, <laughs> she's on the lower side of the tier list. So, yeah, um, I, I would say arguably that she's got a lot of good things going for her, but neutral is so important in this game. And yeah. even if you're a god at parrying or you're a god at reads, you can only do so much with reads and parries. Yeah, absolutely. You have to have that safe pressure. You have to have good strings, all that sort of thing. Absolutely. Speaking of strings, Mega Man, he's playing that mid-range that makes it really dangerous mm -hmm. for Zelda to try to go for Knight or Side B. He's just getting close enough where if you see that animation start off, punish on reaction. Exactly. That sort of deal. And that's the, and that's the difference. As you get uh, better and better at uh, fighting games in general, you start to learn there's a little pocket when it comes to different characters uh, where you can find their weaknesses, where you're able to punish, where you're not able to punish. Um, and if you can find that pocket with these characters, especially Zelda with the Knight, you can you can have some success success but i mean relatively even game here um you can see they're both trying to fill each other out uh you haven't seen any really heavy hits yet one thing that also makes this matchup a little bit messed up i mean zelda's kind of wonk anyway mm -hmm. is that uh a lot of her options are mm, okay Ooh. that's a great punish i was <laughs> gonna say a lot of her options are unsafe but that doesn't mean you can pressure your shield for free exactly so unfortunately uh poorly confirmed i would assume uh up till will cost him the stock, but this is still very doable. Mega Man is a patient man's character. Yeah. You got to take your time playing him or the lemons will eat you alive. Absolutely. When life gives you lemons, man, le uh, <laughs> Mega Man doesn't let you do too much with those lemons. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, I want to see you squeeze each of those lemons individually for my lemonade. Mm -hmm. And if you're not down for that, he's leaving. <laughs> he's taking his 250 and he's not coming back to the stand. You know Absolutely. What I mean? Now, you see in that first stock, uh, what's his name? Germ was able to... Uh, take that first stock relatively early by the way the neutral is being played by them. You could tell that it was going to go on for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, he was able to take it early because of something super unsafe that was by, uh, by King Arch. But nice, that backer is going to uh, seal the stock. But you see, King Arch wasn't able to take that uh, his first stock for another minute, uh, 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. So um, you can see these stocks are going to last a, a much longer time. They if will. you see where I'm, where I'm going with that. Yeah. Another thing is that uh, both of these characters sort of like to confirm when they go in. Mega yeah. Man's more in your face than Zelda can be, but neither of them are going to be up there throwing out kill moves like it's willy-nilly. As you see, Mega Man tries for his up tilt, misses it, and gets sent to the blast zone. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably see a lot of high percent back and forth. Well, they try to whittle each other down until someone hits an errant kill move or something like that. This is a really bad spot. Yeah. Uh, the head off stage. Uh, for people who don't know, that uh, crash bomber on your shield is a single parry. So if you play Mega Man, or if you're playing against a Mega Man and he tries to go for immediate mm, pressure, up throw. up throw will kill. Um, if he tries to go for immediate pressure, that can get you auto parry off of one parry for a yeah. punish. So you have to be careful about that. So he's letting that pressure shield and not going in quite immediately. Now you see, uh, King Arch is finding is is finding trouble, kind of getting in and getting any strong hits. It's really ticky tacky damage. Uh, he's uh, Germ is living to about 160, which isn't good because you're gonna take a lot of damage from Zelda. Zelda puts on some damage. Mm -hmm. And ooh, that was nice. Um, another thing is that Zelda is errant damage, um, but. Ooh, that, that was a good confirm. Yeah, definitely. That was sweet. Uh, Zelda can just kill you. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, right? If you get hit with up B, any of her aerials, even Nair off stage, if yeah. you get thrown, two of her throws are kill moves, one is a combo into a kill. So this is really stressful in that King Arc wants to play the medium range until he confirms, but if he misconfirms, Zelda breaks out or yeah. Zelda kills him. Um, but it's still in his favor as long as he plays that neutral right. If he plays it clean. Ooh. Okay. That turned around really quickly. In that span of you exp uh, explaining that, uh, he not only took germ stock, but he was able to put on 90 damage, get him in super disadvantage off the stage, and then confirm uh, with the uh, down air. See, I wonder if... 
because that didn't look like it snapped to ledge. So mm -hmm. I wonder if he was trying to go above or he was just at an angle that ah. would snap correctly. Okay. Uh, teleports are kind of weird yeah, in a definitely. game like that. But and I think that's what it is. He knew that the teleports were going to be weird, so he probably held a, di a direction that he wasn't supposed to, trying to make sure he snapped ledge, and he didn't snap. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's not a very high risk option to go for either. If he gets it, that's the stock. If he mm -hmm. doesn't get it, go back to exactly. stage, you know, go for your ledge trap. So very... I know there's a lot of characters who wish they can spike from uh, in <laughs> advantage. A lot of times you have you kind of have to put yourself in disadvantage. Mm -hmm. It's more of a committal uh, or a commitment. Um, in that case, Mega Man can just do it and still hold stage control. Disjointed, anything that's disjointed and hits the ledge, like Zelda's Knight is another good one. Actually, yeah, yeah, definitely. Is such a boon in this mm -hmm. game to be able to have, even if you don't get anything off of it. Especially with the with the parry mechanic, uh, with projectiles like that. If you try and parry the projectile, you don't get um, you don't get the 11 frames, or the opponent doesn't get the 11 frames of freeze. Mm -hmm. So you're still stuck in that freeze while Pichu or Pikachu or Mega Man is running towards you. So it's almost not even worth it to parry projectiles mm -hmm. if you're at a certain pocket or range. Absolutely, it's it's arguably worth it sometimes for mm -hmm. the um, for the ability to keep your shield up, especially uh -huh. if you're against yep, someone definitely. who's hard zoning you. But speaking of hard zoning, Mega Man here at the corner. This mm -hmm. gets really scary because Mega Man has all the room in the world to run back, do what he wants to. Absolutely. Gets the down tilt. So that's a reset. That's not true at most percents, but that was a good call. Now you see, the ledge in this game is absolutely is much worse than uh, than it was in Smash 4. Um, you can take a lot of damage just trying to get back to the stage. A lot In Smash 4, a lot of characters were able to keep you at the ledge easily. Cloud, Diddy Kong, a lot of the top tier, Sheik. But in this game... That ooh, was a risky side B. Yeah. Great. That was a great back air uh, going off the stage, all the way off into the drop zone uh, to catch that one. But in this game, a lot most characters have something to uh, edge trap you with or to put you in a situation where you have to make a, a decision that's a commitment. So um, you'll take, like I said, you'll take a lot of damage just trying to get back into the neutral. Absolutely. And you see, um, in, in Smash Ultimate, I feel like as the meta progresses, um, the neutral is going to be a lot slower. People are not going to want to get hit as much as uh, we're getting hit now. Uh, Go ahead. One thing, someone had mentioned, I can't remember where, they were talking about, oh, uh, I like Smash Ultimate, but uh, the game is faster now. In neutral, you just can't be slow paced, wow. which you can. Yeah. It's just a lot more difficult now with the single air dodge and multi directions. Mm -hmm. That's a damn shame. Yeah. With rush right there. Not coming in. Mm -hmm. It's getting to the blast zone. But I do agree. I think neutral will slow down a lot. I think parries will get more comfortable. They won't be the end all be all. Oh, yeah. But they will be mm -hmm. a big deal. And they're a big deal now. Yeah, definitely. Especially when you're playing the characters like Ike who have great aerials. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're not parrying, they're relatively safe. So. This is arguably one of the worst places to be as Zelda is trying to get up on the ledge. Uh, she has options off of it, but they're all very short range, and if yeah. she misses them, she's unsafe. So, good falling. That's, now, here that's you go. You see stage position. control completely shifted from the right side where King Arch was in control all the way to the left side where uh, Germ is in control. He wasn't able to put on a lot of damage for King Arch coming back, but that confirmed not going to do a great DI by Germ, DI straight to that corner. But this is where uh, it seems like the match is taking place. Who can uh, who can um, take advantage when the opponent's on the ledge? Absolutely. And I would say they're both very good at it. Zelda's uh -huh. got the higher lethality, but Mega Man arguably has less commitment. Mm -hmm. So it's really up in the air. But we'll see. The toss. Okay, fourth throw not going to do it. That pressure. is not uh, Mega Man's kill throw. That, that back throw will do it, though. Uh, he's trying to push him. He's looking for the confirm there, but... Mm -hmm. Loses a lot of stage control for it. Yeah, you can see now in this second match, uh, King Arch is kind of going for some reads, kind of setting, setting things up. He threw that Metal Blade, and he tried to read the jump back. That was greedy. That mm. was super greedy to do just off He's of a, uh, like an air dunk. There you go. And, and um, not for nothing, we don't see too many of those. They're not taking those uh, that many commitments when it comes to the neutral like that. You see, that that's the second stock we've seen on a strong punish like that. So here we go. With Crash Bomber. Another thing that's awkward about this is because of where Zelda wants to play good parry, uh -huh. uh, where Zelda wants to play is a little bit farther than when Mega Man wants to be. So if they're at opposite ends of the stage, yeah. they kind of just stay there. Yeah, exactly. Until one of them eats their way in. Mm -hmm. um, and neither of them, not to say that both of them are bad at offense, but both of them would rather have you play into them. So it turns into a very slow, like we're seeing, until one of them gets in and then turns to the ledge game like that. Mm -hmm. Metal Blade into the down air. I would be scared. 
Now you see King Arch doing a great job of just keeping his composure and, and staying solid. He's not doing anything that's going to get him a stock like the first match. It was in the first match where we saw King Arch try and go for uh, an up tilt that didn't confirm. Lost his stock. He was able to bring it back, though. But now you see he's not giving uh, Germ anything like that. He's not giving him the opportunity to punish him hard like that. And Germ is struggling to find the kill. He is. Oh, well, there, there it is, though. The thing is... 113%, this is a bad position, mm -hmm. but it's not an unwinnable position. Oh, Especially absolutely. with someone with the kill power like Zelda. But there's got to be a patient stock. Tries to get a little bit greedy on the confirm there. Or, and, and you can see yeah. uh, King Arch, he really knows how to DI Zelda combos. Uh, a lot of times, people who don't really understand the matchup will try and DI out on the down throw, mm -hmm. and that puts you right in uh, position to get caught with the follow-up. On that uh, last down throw, he DI'd hard back, so uh, oh, he was able to get out. And yeah. these reads. All of that. Like, see, the reads are correct. And if he's just a little bit closer, that's close to death. It wouldn't mm -hmm. kill at 58, but it would be damn close, especially if Yeah, but this is scary. Like you said, he was able to bring this one back. Now this is anybody's game. How does he make it oh, back no, to the Oh, no, he doesn't have it. No. He didn't have, he didn't have a jump? No, no, he used uh, Rush, and then he tried to air dodge, but he got hit out of it, I think. Oh. Um, oh, actually, I think, he, yeah, here, uh, I think he did a B-reverse Metal Blade or something. So... He tried to air dodge there. He uses Rush again. Uh, oh, you might blade. be right. You might be right. Yeah. There you go. He threw the Metal Blade out really late. He, I guess he was scared to get hit. He didn't He didn't think that Germ was going to come out and threaten his space. So he kind of faded back on the Metal Blade, and he was too far to get back to the no, stage. That's a shame. Which, mm -hmm. that's the right thing to do. Because, again, if you catch an air and hit him there, forward air, back air, forward smash, anything. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. F-Tilt will kill at that position from mm -hmm. Zelda. So she's a very scary character to want to just catch a hand from. Yeah. Especially on last stock level. Like that. Absolutely. But, and uh, the thing is, uh, uh, yeah. on projectiles like that, you don't really notice it, but Metal Blade has a lot of um, recovery frames. You don't really notice it because you're trying to dodge the Metal Blade in neutral, mm -hmm. so you don't, you're not really looking at Mega Man. But in that situation, he had already committed to the Metal Blade while he was going towards the stage. So when Germ jumped towards him, he immediately knew, I can't throw out an attack, I can't air dodge, I have to fade back. Get, get me out of here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what really killed him. Absolutely. That's great. He took, he, some would call that an SD, but Germ took that stock just by threatening space. Even even with the SD, it was still an intelligent choice. It was mm -hmm. just a miscalculated yeah. choice. But he had the right idea. Uh, King Arch already getting him off stage, but overcommits eh, over a little too mm -hmm. far. And he, he's overcommitting early. We didn't see any, uh, too many overcommitments like that early in the match. Mm -hmm. I want to see uh, that that could be a sign of him being comfortable, or that could be a sign of him just... Uh, kind of um, losing focus. Maybe. It might yeah. also be, um, even though Mega Man would prefer to stay over at that mid-range, fish for his confirms, try to rack up damage, yeah. maybe he feels more comfortable. Let's get in Zelda's face, which Zelda does not like it when people are up in her business. Yeah, absolutely. But Although she has those uh, those get off me options, yes. if you can read them, you can shield them, and she, she gets punished pretty hard for them. Absolutely. And that's... I think if he does go offensive like that, that's what it, he'll rely on. He'll have to play real patient, which is not something most people will do when you get in people's faces. You're like, I want to press buttons, I want to stop yeah, this, that. Exactly. But that's frame for just intangibility. She stops being a, hit, uh, a hurt box completely when mm -hmm. that happens. So if you're going to bait it out, you have to go all the way committal, which mm -hmm. means opening yourself up to the grabs, the night, additional pressure. So it's a hard commitment to go yeah. for, but it may be the correct one if mm -hmm. Arch feels more comfortable in putting the offense. And that's frame four fair? Uh, no, the neutral B is... Oh, okay, the neutral B. I thought you were talking about fair, but that no. fair going to do it, though. That fair <laughs> is going to do it. And that's that's one of the reasons why. You don't want to respect Zelda too much, but then you just get hit by stuff like that. Yeah, that exactly. That was killed at 90, Yeah, maybe. that so, move really strong. Um, that was back, good, though. That back air. I think it was nice. <laughs> Yo, somebody get... Uh, I think it's Kino, the one who made that shirt, the nice back air. Oh, nah, no, you've got it. No, nice. I'm Dev misremembering. rocking the nice back air shirt. Yo. <laughs> When are we going to get those in stock? I would gladly wear one any right. day. I'm going to... I'd said it earlier, unironically, mm -hmm. but I think, speaking, Nice Parry will become a thing later on. Oh, it's going to be like, oh, Nice Parry on the Nair to mm -hmm. no conversion. <laughs> speaking of conversion, that's a good little pressure in the neutral, but Zelda moves back, manages to get back into the shield into a punish. Off mm -hmm. the stage, but she's working her way back. Okay, now you see King Arch kind of trying to threaten space with these projectiles. He's not trying to hit uh, Zelda with them. He's more so trying to catch Zelda, trying to retreat, trying to play defense, which is good. Which is good. Um, those are really low commitment options. Absolutely. Okay, going to jump nice. from edge, going to get that fair, which is one move uh, that was buffed in this game. Yeah, that was a good call on the down air, but she didn't have her jump, so going early would have been mm -hmm. a better call. Mm. 
Oh my god. When he calls his bluff, uh, King Ars did not. Oh, sour let me, spot. Let me put you in the pot. Yo, okay, we're just you wanna, trading stocks. You want to light me up? You want to <laughs> light me up? Super fighting robot. <laughs> we're just trading stocks here. They're not even giving us a chance to uh, commentate their uh, stock taking. But 1-1 um, one, one here, last stock for both of these guys. Their winner's bracket stocks. That back air. I mean, not back the throw. best uh, neutral B. That was a big commitment to try to catch his options. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zelda going to use that Nair to get back on stage into neutral B. Yep, good catch on the Metal Blade. Creating space, but maybe giving a little too much for Arch. Yeah. Pushing her to the corner. Now we see Arch with full stage control. Those tornadoes are going to put him in a bad situation. How do you get back to the stage? He's going to use that jump. Good call. Ooh. Doesn't quite get the ledge re-grab in time, but mm -hmm. that's fine. Doesn't lose too much out on that. Expecting Zelda giving the space, going in off the Metal Blade. Okay. That's unfortunate. That reflect hitbox is out for That did like 18 like 18 damage. <laughs> that flash hit might have been 20. That was a lot of damage. He was still yellow. Now he's uh, his damage is uh, dark red he, orange. He, he just <laughs> goes up. Look, that's the thing. Like half of her kit will just kill here. Mm -hmm. Dash attack might kill if you sweet spot it. Ooh, Ooh the grab! No. Grabs are so bad in this game. It's not even... Okay, so Zelda's grab, standing grab, is frame 10. Okay. Zelda's dash grab may be even slower. Her grab is fantastic, Ugh. but you cannot get greedy like that. There will be situations you think, smash attack, I'll punish. Mm -hmm. I'll go for this, I'll go for that. No, you'll be beat out by one, two frames, and you'll eat things like that, which is yep. unfortunate because it was a good call, but it was not the call for that exactly. scenario.